hello sorry <laughs> i was getting something set up on stream elements or stream labs i think sorry i had a coughing fit um i was getting something set up on stream elements and then yeah i i was trying to plug in a vod channel that i had set up hi tim hi your mom what's up i am the snail that's me i'm the snail so I was setting up this thing on so hold on let me see if it works socials it should work it's probably okay so I actually have a new VOD channel because um so what Bun was letting me know was like I should probably post my VODs on a YouTube channel and these are edited VODs so all of the weird awkward pauses the silences the BRBs they're all edited out so it's like it gets straight to it and then it ends with it um it's kind of a chore to do, but I, I kind of don't like just posting raw VODs just because they're already available on Twitch. But after those like that certain amount of days expires, like I'd rather just, you know, have edited VODs on a YouTube channel. So that's where it's going to be. Also, how are you guys? I know it's been a, it's been a while. I haven't been streaming. I've been in my head. Don't really want to go into it. However, I will try to stream more regularly from now on because I know how it looks. It's like I disappear for a while and then it's like, where is she? What's going on? So, <laughs> yeah. So, like, it, it, it'll be under the, the Cozy Snail Games, the YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Man, I... I've it's been it's been a it's been a hot minute since I've I've streamed. However, I have a really interesting game for you guys today. I don't know if you've heard of the game off, but I'm gonna be playing off. I haven't played off in like over a decade, which every time I mention a decade, it makes me feel infinitely old. I don't feel like them I'm that old, but yeah, I haven't played this game since I was in high school. So make, uh, just think about how that as, as you will. I don't know what I just said right now. But I haven't played this game since I was in high school. And I remember playing it on my ratty laptop. And it was the most fun I've ever had with a game. Especially an indie game. So this was before Undertale. This was before, you know, all of those games that were kind of indie. This this was the game that everyone was playing in like 20 in the 2010s, early 2010s, not mid 2010s. So, yeah, I'm excited. I've been hankering to play this game for a while. It's such an it's I feel like it's a niche game now. Again, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but I'm I'm really excited to revisit it because from what I remember, I had a blast. But then again, what do I know? I had like a teenage brain and I I don't know if it was like it was actually good or if we all just hyped it up because there were no other indie games like this in the past so all right let me go ahead and uh get started <laughs> okay a few things here <laughs> i know it looks kind of blurry again it's a very old game i actually had to um google and it wasn't even the first Google result, just a bunch of Reddit posts being like, how do I play this game? I I can't believe stuff that was posted when I was a teenager is now, like, weirdly obscure. Um, is the volume too loud? Hold on. Volume might be too loud. That should be good, I think. I don't want it to be too overpowering. Game's a little low, just FYI. What do you mean? Please elaborate. Oh, loud. Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's okay, Tim. Whoa, hi, Nady. What's up? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? How's your Wednesday? Let me lower it then. Yeah, I felt like it was blasting my ears. This game is like kind of loud. I, I need to put like a filter on my audio. How's it now? Is it still too loud? 
Again, I don't want this game blasting out your eardrums or mine. I can't really gauge it. Let's go half half seas. Let's go 50. 50 percent. So much has happened since last time we saw. I know it's been like forever. It's been a week. I haven't streamed in a week and I've not been catching up with anybody's streams because I've just been again. I've been in my head not to get like super deep and existential, but like I think I need help. <laughs> I think I need help <laughs> like professional help. Um, I've just, yeah, yeah, girl's been feeling a little sad lately. I'm good though. I'm pushing through. Great. <laughs> it's a, lot, a little loud to be honest, but it's still better. Okay, I, I can lower it. Definitely lower. I'm gonna, because it's also blasting my ears. Keep that in mind. Like what you're hearing, I'm hearing. But I've always had this trouble in past streams where it's like, Izzy, the game is too low. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll assault my eardrums for you guys. Let's, let's do 35. That should be good. You went to... Never... Yeah. <laughs> you went to PAX East. Yeah. Dude, I've been seeing you post about it. I've, I've been excited to ask you about it. How was it? Was it great? Was it everything you thought it would be? Okay. Again, just a disclaimer. It's, it, it's looking a little blurry. I know. Again, because it's an old game and I don't want to like full screen it. There is full screen, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. Also, it just helps to read the chat on the side. Hey, Robin. Off more like on, am I right, fellas? <laughs> Surreal. Tim, I use Brightside to get meds uh, for anxiety and everything like that. You know what? I, I've been prescribed meds and they've just been sitting on my bedside table for a year. Uh, I'm supposed to be taking uh, Lexapro. Uh, I haven't been. I haven't started because I'm scared. I'm a scared little baby. Um, but yeah, it's looking like I'm backed against the wall and I, it looks like I should be taking medication. Because <laughs> I've just, it's been hard to get out of bed lately. That's just one of the things that I've been experiencing. And uh, loss of interest and in stuff. So I, I can I can kind of tell when I'm, I'm heading off the rails. I'm like, these are the signs and that's not good. However, we're back, baby. We're back on a Wednesday. Hey. <laughs> uh, Needy, to be honest, I'm kind of sad because I miss so much because I was overwhelmed. But, but what I did see and play was so fun. Dude. Yeah, I know, right? Because that's why people go more than uh, day one or like one day. So... Yeah, I, I totally get you, but I'm sure everything you experienced in that one day was cool. I think I saw a video you posted that looked cool. Yeah, you met one of your fave game devs. That's so cool. What game? Tim, highly recommend you start. I was scared to start my meds too. I'm scared of the side effects. That's what I'm most terrified of. Or like, I'm scared that if I take meds, it'll make me feel worse. And I have this like irrational fear, like if I take meds and then I start feeling bad, it'll mess with my brain and my brain won't go back to the way it was. But it's not like my brain was ever really functional anyways to begin with. But something that it something about me being scared about it changed my brain chemistry to something else that I wouldn't be able to gra get a grasp on just intimidates me. Uh, Robin, if you need advice about the medicine, I have clients who take Lex Lexapro and I can detail the experience with medication. Yes, please, Robin. One of the side effects I really don't want is uh, to feel nauseous. I know that feels that's like such a low uh, thing to feel like it's not it's not super like scary, like other side effects that I'm thinking of, which are also scary. Don't get me wrong, but I, I usually feel nauseous and sick kind of 24 7 so just compounding like just having that added on i wouldn't want to live like that <laughs> yeah i gained around 50 pounds over the summer okay was that for from your medication i i'm not a heavy set person i'm very i'm actually very thin so yeah i I'm not sure how that would affect me. Just because, again, I think I have a fast metabolism. Nady, it was nice, though, because it was only like a two hour drive up to Boston. And I got to spend a day with my brother, which was great. Nice. 
That's not that's not a long drive. You're so close you were so close to um Pax East. Due to meds. Okay. Nico pa 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 Leah. Nico Nico Papalia. I can say names. Creator of Athenian Rhapsody. Oh shit, you you recommended that game, right? To me, I, I want to check it out. Dang, right? It's been 84 years. It's been so freaking long. I haven't streamed in like I keep streaming once a week and I keep meaning to up the streams and we were just talking about how like mental health and meds and stuff. I just haven't been feeling, you know, I haven't been feeling my snailiest. I, I've been feeling like a slug lately. It's been it's been a journey. <laughs> um, Tim, but if it's a big deal to you, it's a big deal then. Yes, yeah, due to anxiety I was on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Tim, I I was recommended Lexic Pro because of anxiety. Plus depression, like they they're like so my therapist was like, you probably have both. It sounds like you have both, which they usually come hand in hand usually. I, I feel anxiety leaving the house and I feel depressed when I'm in the house. <laughs> but, you know. Uh -huh. I just dox myself. Uh oh. <laughs> Dave, oh, I meant since I've been off. I get you. <laughs> uh, Robin, it can affect weight gain loss, but it's recommended to maintain a healthy exercise habit to fight against the weight gain caused by medication. Several of my clients are on an exercise plan because their weight gain is a concern. They have other diagnoses related, unrelated to the medication. Okay. So I'm very bad at exercising. I'm again, I'm one of those people that are skinny, but you can't tell that I'm, I'm like not active. Maybe a little, well, I have a little, I have a little gut. But <laughs> other than that, it's like I, I'm I'm fairly thin and people are like, oh, you look healthy. And I'm like, I don't exercise at all. And I'm kind of sedentary most of the time. Um, I eat pretty well, though. I would like to think I eat takeout on the weekends. Um, but other than that, I kind of I kind of eat food at home during the whole week. Uh, my weakness are my weakness is sweets, though, which make me break out. If anything, they don't really make me gain weight. Uh, Dave, believe me, Evans. Yeah, exactly. It's I've, I haven't been feeling again my best. Uh, yeah, Lex is pretty common for those two. I've been on it. It's all right, not my favorite. Uh oh, why not? I use ga gabapentin for my panic attacks because praise God I'm doing better. I'm gonna look that up because that's something that I suffer with. Um, and I'm gonna mention it to my. Uh, Oh, it's a muscle relaxer? Well, not a muscle relaxer, but it's like, it's used in the same thing as like a Gotcha, okay. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, your your doctor's using it as an off-label thing. So for my panic attacks, my, my doctor prescribed um, a beta blocker, propanolol. So I, I've been taking that. I haven't been taking it every day. She said as needed. For some reason, taking medication off label makes me feel a little iffy too. The thing I've learned with exercise is to find something you like and do it consistently. Most of the time, you really don't need to push yourself to the point of exhaustion. Just getting your heart rate is up enough. I love dancing. But the thing is, like, I, I could dance alone in my room. But I feel like for some reason in my brain, I'm like, this is an exercise. <laughs> uh robin i know what you mean by sweets i ate a whole king cake king cake within the span of three days yeah that's me so see that's me robin like if my if uh i buy like cookies right like a dozen cookies which i asked my mom not to buy because i'm like if you buy that stuff i will eat it like i will eat it under a week um because i'll, I'll eat okay so i'll eat let's say a cookie in the afternoon because I'm like why not treat myself and then like three hours later I'm like why not treat myself and then at night I'm like I'm gonna eat two of these cookies so by the time the the day ends I probably eat about five cookies which is not great <laughs> but I get stomach aches if anything and acne Tim my experience with meds is that it kind of it kind of fucked though because my family has severe anxiety and depression and stuff yeah I feel like my family has it too, but they don't like to admit it. 
Because I, I can't be the only one that's going through this. Dave, dancing is absolutely exercise if it keeps you up and moving it counts. I freaking love dancing to music. Because <laughs> I love music and I love to move my body to it. Dancing is exercising. Just Dance literally has a daily exercise set for people and it's shown to actually get to progress. I don't have that. I don't like the uh, the songs on it though. I think it's like Dan uh, Just Dance 2020. A lot of Lady Gaga. I wish it was like music that I liked, but then again, it's like, I kind of just press play on music that I like. Tim, I, I beat Saber as my exercise for a while. I should do that. Um, I used to do DDR a lot, but the thing is with DDR, it hurts my feet so bad because I'm like stomping on basically tile because I have those mats, but also going to like, I'm super out of shape. Whenever I do one song on DDR on an actual arcade machine, I feel like I'm out of breath and just one session, which is three songs, I feel like puking after and I'm like, I can't do this, but I would like to say I'm pretty good at it. I just go on the elliptical for 30 minutes and stretch. I have a... What is it called? A bike? But n not like a bike bike, but like a... You know the, the, the thing that Mr. Krabs was using in that episode of Spongebob? I have that. <laughs> What's the name of that? Stationary bike. Exactly. Yeah, a, sta a bike machine. Yep, yep. That one. Oh, I have Just Dance 2024. The songs are probably better than 2020 because the 2021 sucked. No offense. My usual exercise is walking two miles a day. I walk, but like I walk maybe for like half an hour. Is that exercise? I mean, it is exercise now that I say it out loud, but like I just feel like I don't walk fast enough. I kind of just walk at my own pace. Okay, yes, it is exercise. Okay. <laughs> Dave, I'm so excited for spring so I could walk on my brakes again. I freaking love walking. Also, I just get to look at the neighborhood. Sometimes I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? It's crazy how everyone's living their own life when I'm walking. Like, I see people like working on their cars. I see people walking their dogs. I see people because I live near a gym. Funny enough, which is a whole other tangent on why I can't go to a gym. Just because I, 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 again, I'm always, I feel sick 24 seven. I feel nauseous. I, my doctors don't know how to address that because every time they do like a test or something, they're like, you're completely fine and normal. But I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna puke every single day. And they're like, you're, it's probably in your head. So then it's like, it's referred back to mental health. But um, since I do feel pukey most of the time and I, if I overexert myself and exercise, I'm like, I feel, I don't feel good. like. You know, I feel sick. So it's like, if I push myself, I, I will get sick. Um, yes, in fact, walking 30 minutes a day leads to better breathing, heart rate, and muscle growth. I So I will confess I don't walk every single day, but I do walk a majority of the days. Like, let's say four or five times a week. Four or four times a week. The fresh air and moving deaf, deaf is helping you. Yeah. Although, but the thing is, I spend most of the time sitting down indoors. That might not be good for my lungs. Robin, in order to maintain a healthy body, cardio plays a major role. Walking is the best cardio. Uh, Tim, could you be allergic to something you eat consistently? No, it's okay. You can ask me anything. I'm kind of an open book. Um, I tried looking into that. So I did get allergy tests done. I got like everything done, a whole body panel. The only thing, you know, I'm not allergic to anything like or even intolerant, because like sometimes intolerances don't show up on blood tests. And I've tested it out myself. This has been a whole process since I was young because I've been feeling sick since I was like, as for as long as I can remember, since I, being in kindergarten, I remember feeling sick. And I just like had to tough it out in school. And which is a, again, a whole other tangent. But yeah, um, it's, I don't think it's really anything in particular a meeting. I, I just feel sick sometimes, you know? sucks e. yeah do you have vertigo i don't but actually like in the last few months uh i got this weird thing where the whole room started spinning and it was like really scary and i think that was like a vertigo attack or something 
Um, I've never experienced anything like it because I've always heard people feeling vertigo and I was like, I don't know, I, I've never felt dizzy ever. Now I feel constantly dizzy, but the whole room span and it was really scary because I was like, I was like, it feels like the whole room was spinning, but the whole world was spinning. And I, even holding on to like the counter, because I was in the bathroom, I was holding on to the, the bathroom counter. I was like, it's not stopping. And then I felt like a, a wave of nausea. And then I ran out of the bathroom and then I like laid down on my bed, closed my eyes. And I was like, if I start panicking, the dizziness is going to get worse. So I calmed down. And it took like a few minutes for the spinning to subside, but it was like really scary. I don't, I don't know what that is. I've never experienced it before and I hope I never experience it again, but it was really scary. <laughs> uh, open book. All right, I'm gonna ask something personal. How was your day? Uh, shitty, next question. <laughs> Just kidding, it was, it's mid. Super scan scandalous. All right, let's start this game. <laughs> my parents found out my dad is allergic to like existing. Yeah, I mean, me, I relate. My day has been productive, F. A girl, look at this warning. It is possible that certain scenes in this game may provide may prove shocking to an unwarmed public, or maybe not. I'm sorry again that it's blurry. I can't, I can't help it. Yeah, we're shocked. Look at the the oh, uh, tag warning <laughs> blood. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put snail. I usually put Izzy, but we're doing snail. We're going snail today. I'm feeling snail. Yes. Okay, you guys, should we be a boy, a girl, or non-binary? We know what that third option is. I think it's probably been over a decade since I, I know, right, Dave? I was going to say it's been over a decade. In my brain, this is this was a new game to me. But when I started struggling to find the download to this game, like there the this game does not exist for Mac. If you have a Mac, you cannot play this game anymore, which is mind-blowing to me. So, this is cool that we're playing this right now. Um, I found a website where it had the download. I was like, this is crazy. How is this game so like obscure now? I don't know. Again, this was before Undertale. This was before indie games. Uh, not mm, sorry. Correction. Obviously, there was always indie games, but the indie games that we kind of knew in the 2010s, this was one of the first ones where I felt like it was free and people were freaking out about this game. This was like such a cool game. Oh, let's be non biny All right, let's be non biny It's a snail day. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, let's be non biny All right, welcome, snail. You have been assigned to being called the batter. The batter is on a mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you both out in zone zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the judge. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> you have yet to play Undertale. I got so sick of seeing it in the back in back in the day, so I actively avoided it. Same. I well, okay, so I watched Joel Vinesauce uh play the whole thing when uh Toby Fox, that's his name, right? He was reaching out to like streamers to play his game to like advertise it, which by the way, genius marketing strategy. If I were to ever make a game, I would literally, I would compile a list of streamers and just send out the game. What a genius marketing strategy. Like your wallet takes a hit, obviously, but it's like just to have so many people play it. I'm just saying genius to move your body's arrow keys. Okay. To interact with the environment, use the spacebar or enter key. Oh man, this was before WASD. Just kidding. I was expecting this to be WASD. Joel! Freaking love Joel. I 
I have yet to do the genocide path, but I'm excited. Yeah, one day I'll play that. To, and compared to the other marketing ideas, it's pretty cheap. Did a whole class on that stuff, really? I... I, like... Was in college for marketing, and I have yet to complete the degree. Embarrassing, I know. I have... You guys have no idea how many issues I have to deal with. But I don't... I don't really talk about it in like a somber way I talk about it in a silly way like haha I can't get out of bed today that's so silly right hold on let me re let me reach for my water I'm thirsty not that it's a cope but like I just don't find it helpful for me personally my personality to wallow in uh certain stuff until it reaches a point where I can't take it anymore and then it's like it, I crack I crack. Co college is dumb. Yeah, but I I feel so under accomplished when uh, everyone is around me that's turning 30 or like their early 30s, late 20s, and they have like really good jobs and they have graduated. And after a certain point, people stopped asking me whether I graduated college or not, which I'm kind of grateful for, but also it's a little heartbreaking because I'm like, ah, I could have graduated. However, I have issues. Which is like, hello, work on your issues? Like, what the hell? Like, me to myself? Because it's like, I'm going to turn 30. That's like, I feel like that's a significance in our culture. Because 20s is where you mess up. 30s is where you kind of hike your pants up. You're still messing up, but you kind of have a grasp of what you're doing. However, I feel like I'm in arrested development, so. I finally started Baldur's Gate 3, so that's going to eat up a lot of time. Noise. I'm about to start doing a daily check-in. You can see. <laughs> hey, another one of my symptoms of, like, when I'm, like, falling into, like, a weird depression is, uh, I start isolating myself from everyone. So that's kind of a red flag for me. Uh, if I'm messaging you currently right now it's because i really uh have exerted energy enough to do it <laughs> if you're in an ad let me know uh but yeah i think my cousin called me a few weeks ago now and i haven't called her back not because i don't want to but because i've just been feeling okay I'll, yeah i'll stop there cannot be any living beings in zone zero. Hence, I deduce that you are, are a pure figment of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusionary interlocutor. I'm the batter. I've been entrusted with a sacred mission. It's a pleasure, although it was not the body I was addressing, but the soul that it harbors. What is your name, controller? Their name is Snail. They can't talk to us. However, they can see and hear everything. Even though you two are but an imaginary specter in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear snail. Hi, the judge. Hi, the judge. Victor, I've seen this game before. It looks kind of mid. I'm going to be real. <laughs> oh, Victor. Hi, Victor, by the way. Oh, Victor, you're such a hater. I love that. I'm a hater, too. <clears throat> I'm really picky about my games. I'm especially a hater when it comes to anime. So if you like an anime, I probably hate it. Is Tim back from the, the ads? I need to add, um, again, I've been meaning to add points to let me, to, to for you guys to let me know when you guys are in ads. Because I don't want to be talking when, like, there's ads. I love the idea of interacting with people, uh, but man, then I do it. <laughs> okay, awesome. So what I was going to say is that when I when I notice myself separating myself or isolating myself from people, um, that's like a huge red flag for me. Then I'm like, I need to seek therapy ASAP because something's wrong. Um, getting out of bed, that's like, that's like, it starts with me not being able to get out of bed. Then it starts with me isolating myself from people, not... Uh, returning people's calls, text messages, or anything like that. Again, it's not on purpose. It's not because I hate you or like I stop. I want to stop talking to you. I just, it, it. I don't know what it is. I, I think I need a journal. 
I need to uh, talk through it through therapy because I need I don't know where that comes from. Not sure. I haven't. <gasps> Thank you for the sub, Tim. Shout out to Tim. W's in the chat for Tim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're free from the ads. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub. Um, again, sorry about the ads. I, I know they're annoying. It just they if I don't turn them on, they they get way more annoying. I, I've noticed that. W. Yeah, ADHD core, exactly. Uh, Victor, I'm immune to ads. I have no idea why. Me neither. What the hell kind of overworld sprite is that for a cat? And a good one. An amazing one. I love him. Robin, okay, isolation got it. I will just leave messages, and even if you don't reply, I'll check in anyways. Thank you, Robin. Because <laughs> I isolate as well, yeah. <sighs> yeah, we can talk in the DMs later. College also isn't for everyone. It's it's really not, but I want it to be for me. Because I know it would benefit me, and it would expand my job opportunities. Um, yeah. Sorry, I got a text. <laughs> Speaking of communicating. All right, I believe we need your help. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everyone loves a cat. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most, in a most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help, I see, but what sort of service could I offer an ectoplasmic entity? I have a secret mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Oh, oh God. This, this I, I feel like I'm back in 2011 playing this on my uh, ratty old HP laptop with a big battery. I've always been immune. I... I have no idea why I get ads on other channels, but not on yours. Is this the kind of aura I have this channel? Yes, most likely. Most likely. Your aura is impeccable. Quite peculiar. Is this something I need to I don't remember anything about this game. 448287C. Are we doing a genocide? Perhaps. Hmm, perhaps. Victor does have the shining. If there are roots, quit saying that stuff. <laughs> My arch enemy puzzles. I know. I was so surprised when I saw this was a this was classified as a puzzle game. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I don't do well with puzzle games because I'm not good at them. If the game has a gun or uh, it's RPG-like, then I can excel in it if it's a puzzle. I don't know about that. No combat mid. There is combat, though. Allow me to inform you that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. I love the words in this. Might you, in fact, be a person of flesh and blood? I think so. Then I was mistaken from the beginning, and you did not even interrupt me in my fanciful phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given to encounter in this place. I had, incidentally, concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. It is all too obvious that I was led astray. <clears throat> Sorry. However, uh, there exist other zones, and in those territories, hostile individuals might attack you most violently. You were, your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to acquaint you with the art of violent confrontation? Yeah, let's do a combat tutorial. I don't remember anything about this game. Purification progress. This is a battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case, yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for single combat. 
At the beginning of combat, a choice will be presented to you and you will have to decide between attack or auto. Naturally, attack allows you to engage the fight in a classical fashion and auto is your choice. The computer will place strategic... Okay, we know that. But now it is time to make an attempt. Choose attack, select the batter, choose attack anew to slay me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not restrain itself and I fear I would die taking my secrets with me to the grave. We are not killing this cat, okay? We are not killing this cat. Damn, that's a forehead, for real. <laughs> Look at that cat's forehead. I would kill God to this song. What is this sprite for? <laughs> have you played Hot... Tim, I haven't played Hotline Miami. Sorry if I blew out, sorry, headphone users. Um, I have played Hotline Miami. Um, I've played it on the Switch and I was so obsessed with the game that that was the only thing I really played on the Switch religiously. I freaking love Hotline Miami. I need a higher IQ than I have for puzzles. Same. I suck at puzzles. The com- yeah, the combat is so good. Pacifist run Pog. Yeah, we're not killing this cat. We need him. I've heard of Hotline by Miami, never played it though. So good. Yeah, you're so right, Tim. You know me. That game is so good. If you guys ever have the chance to play Hotline Miami, like, do it, please. I feel bad. I don't want to beat him. Excellent, dear sportive companion. Know that both the level of the batter and that of his opponent de determine the impact of your assaults. It is also possible for you or your adversaries to slyly avoid the offensive moves you will exchange. Finally, on occasion, your concrete will may allow you to release a critical strike, causing teeth to fly in heaps. But let us proceed if you are not if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you first chose attack upon selecting the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower right hand screen. There you have a choice between four new options. Attack lets you carry out a soul strike against. All right. Competence is special talents and objects is inventory. And run away. While I dehort from this alternative, know that only the batter may select it in his personal menu. Okay. All right. He said, let's use the luck ticket. Impeccable. Your your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my friend. But there is one thing we have not... I feel like he's being condescending towards me. But there is one thing we have not yet addressed. I am, of course, talking about competences. They are... Competences? Yeah, competences. They are, generally speaking, special moves. Okay. Any use of competences leads to a consumption of competence points. Okay. So this is like our... Uh, in Earthbound terms, it would be... Our PP. But these are called CP. Okay. Okay, luck ticket is like a heal item. Okay. He's a cryptic feline of odd appearance. He's a 300 HP and 30 CP. Whomst PB? A PB? PB big. You need to play West of Loathing. West of Loathing. Uh, hold on. West of Loathing. Ten ninety nine. You know the first thing I see is a stick figure. <laughs> Then I'm like, 1099? Oh, their website is so cool, though. Ooh, best game of 2017? Rolling Stone, best comedy game 2017? Ooh. That looks cool. I'm putting it on my list of games to play. That's so cool. Sorry, I'm looking at the page. 
CP. Uh oh, yeah, dude, Tim. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, why are these names for these like attack these special attacks so weird? Why, why do they have names like CP and PP? Who put Izzy's ping to sleep? I can hear its heartbeat. <laughs> the penis points. Very you game. Yes, it's so fucking good. It is comedy, but it's got really good turn-based combat. I can't. I can't, I'm gonna put it on my list of games to play. <laughs> you know, you now know not. Oh, by the way, that thumping sound that you guys hear—that's my neighbor. If he can hear me, what are you doing? You do this every single day. I don't understand it. Whenever I'm hanging out with Bun, I'm like. Bun points it out immediately and is like, what is that thumping sound? Okay, just if you guys can think of what my neighbor is doing, he's been this sound has been going on for like like every day, basically for the past year. It sounds like he's like, you know, when people are like putting up a frame on their on their wall and they're like smashing it with a hammer. Um, and it's like continuous. It's like bam, bam, bam. B that's what it sounds like. Do you know what my neighbor could be doing? So we we had a few theories. Bun says they're just fucking with me, which I don't think so because why would they do this every single day for a year? We haven't. I mean, I haven't complained. It's like whatever. At this point, it's background noise, but like I don't know what they're doing. Uh, then we were like, maybe they have like a washing unit because our apartments are not allowed to have washing units and then maybe it's thumping against the wall. And before you guys say anything, I just, I thought maybe like they're having smacks every day. I don't think so though. Cause it's like, it's, it's not a sound that you would think. It's not like a thumping sound, like a head, headboard against the wall. It's like, it sounds like a hammer. I don't know. It sounds like a hammer. Unless they're like into some freaky, freaky shit. I don't know. Oh, you thought it was the game too? <laughs> yeah, that's my neighbor. And then they, they deny it too. They're like, we don't hear any sound. What sound is that? So we're like, okay, maybe it's not them because I live in an apartment building and sometimes the sound travels. So the mystery of my neighbors, what are they doing? What is, what is their end goal? Do I have to interact every time I hear it? Is he spinning heartbeat? Is it the rhythm to the song in the background? <laughs> Uh, we filed a noise complaint. Uh, the office says nobody's fessing up to it. That's the problem. Nobody is fessing up to it. No one's saying, oh yeah, that's me. Everyone is, is like, what? We don't hear a sound. What are you talking about? And they're making it sound like we're making shit up, but you guys can hear it. So there we go. I'm not crazy. Just show whoever you're fucking telling is there's noise. There's a VOD. Like... There you go. Oh, no, we've recorded it. And then they're like, but nobody's fessing up to it. The office is like, we can't send a letter to who are we going to send the letter to if nobody's fessing up to it? <laughs> Carpentry. <laughs> he better be bouncing and moaning on it. <laughs> okay. That deserves to be pinned. He's going it down. <laughs> Could also be a pest between the floors. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like a like a rat though. It sounds like a. It even like even when they're done like pounding it, like it sounds like they're, like a hammer's being thrown on the floor. I don't know. Do you guys still hear it? This guy is so like aggravating, I swear. <laughs> he's going to town. Yeah, whatever he's doing, they're going to town to it. And then we're like, maybe somebody's lifting weights, but it sounds like construction work or like a hammer. <laughs> Both of you to assume I feel shame. <laughs> Oh, 
From now on, you will be ready to dispose of all impure obstacles that dare appear in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat. Be it as it may, your training has not yet reached its end. Let me ask you to follow me if you still want me to want me as your guide. By the way, the the walls in these apartments are thin. I I used to hear people having sex, like legit. Sorry again if you guys are listening to this on speakers or something. Like especially in the bathrooms for some reason, like I can hear it more. And then I would feel so, I'd be like, oh my gosh, like, what the hell? Because they'd be vocal about it, too. And I'm like, I don't, can you guys, like, I don't know if they realize that we could hear them. Oh, snap. I haven't said oh, snap in, like, years. What the hell? Uh, but this puzzle puzzled me. I have to get back to work. Sorry, Izzy. Have a good stream. Of course, Tim. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Again, sorry for kind of not safe for work talk. I apologize. Hope you got. You hope you have a great uh, work work day. You're awesome. I love when you stop by. Oh, you work from home? Okay. Okay, good. Because I was like, I, I would feel so bad if you're like in an office and you're listening to this, which I'm pretty sure Robin does listen to this in the office. Correct me if I'm wrong. Listening on speakers full blast. <laughs> Ever thought of moving? Dude, look at the cat's forehead in the overall. <laughs> Robin, I am. Now nah, I got fired. <laughs> Oh, that's why I said smacks. I'm listening to you while I'm working, but I have my headphones in. Okay. <laughs> wow, same bestie. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I can't say something because I'm like, you guys are working and I don't want that to affect you guys at work. So. <laughs> mm. Ah, yes. To pass through, it will be necessary to use your cerebral organ correctly. You know, the one bathing flabbily in your cranium. I think that these floating blocks correspond in some way or another to the symbols you can see on the wall. Okay. I suck at puzzles. Oh, I straight up just left. Okay. Hold on. I suck at puzzles. I totally forgot that this is a thing. My bad. Okay. One, two, it can't be that easy, right? Three, four. Okay, it was that easy. Mm, okay. Nah, I fucking full send that. Okay. <laughs> sometimes I don't even curse sometimes because I'm like, you guys are like at work. If only I had my own office. For real. One, two. Oh. That's not good, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, four, eight, two, and then three, right? Yeah. All right. I'm so smart. Ahaha. Uh -huh. Finally, after all that effort, the long awaited reward makes it its entrance to the scene. Look at him, he's so cute. Look at him eating. I want to pet him. Can I pet him? Crunch, nom nom, crunch. <laughs> A piece of silver flesh has been found. I don't even have a job, so I'm good. <laughs> uh, you and me, Victor. I'm looking for a job. Anybody can hire me. Okay, four four eight two eight. I'm gonna I'm gonna type this in chat. Four four eight two eight seven C. I'm gonna assume that's the code for this. One two three four four. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, two, and then eight again, and then we've got seven, and I'm assuming this last block is C, okay. 
Wow, we're so smart, you guys. Here we will have an accessory that will prove especially useful to your purifying quest, your enlightened student and supportive friend. It's a cube floating in the air, as you have probably noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from its ilk by the contrast of its clashing colors, assaulting your gaze with bad taste and defying any sensible course of plastic arts. Colors, hmm? Very European or very Canadian. Clocked it. Yeah, we're so smart. Do not judge it too quickly, however, for despite its cr criti- Oh my goodness. Criti- Criticisable- Criticisable appearance? Cri- Okay, let me sound this out. Criticizable appearance. What's criticizable? Criticize to criticize. It's a, but it's criticizable, right? It's like a. Yeah. So, if I were to tell you you're criticizable, you're very easy to criticize. Really? Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure. I'll take a word. I'll take a word for it. Criticizable appearance. This red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from restoring the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you into the nothingness. The nothingness is a place of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try for yourself in order to discover locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and fly towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. Do not worry yourself. I, too, travel much between the different zones of the world. Perhaps we will come to meet again. Ah, by the by, take this. This item of a curious name will be the key that shall permit you to enter zone one. Have I clarified that you can at any moment consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? You haven't, but thank you. The Leo card has been found. Colors? Yeah. Is British in it? Peaky fucking blinders. I think it's object, right? Okay. Okay, so we're a savior class, and our nickname is Purifier. I still remember the twist to this. No spoilers if you guys remember the twist to this. Health points and competence points completely restored. Yeah, we'll save the game. Let's return to the nothingness, you guys. zone one Ooh, i just did for the most uh i just did the most fair combo with ness really <laughs> let's save that this game again 10 pk fires and then dash attack very fair whoa okay tram Tramway number one is a very useful means of transport to get to the different areas of zone one. Oh, jeez. Damien. Oh, dude, I... These transitions and these colors and the art, Mortis Ghost is such a good artist. Like, you can tell his style from a mile away. I love it. Oh, let's talk to this guy. Okay. Um, uh, a visitor? I, um, welcome to the smoke mines. Uh, may I know who you are? Are you an inspector? No, I'm the batter. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. The batter? The impure spirits? Are you some sort of prophet or perhaps a man of belief yeah something like that i who sent you nobody i'm being led by snail what no, what oh this 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 game puts a lot of responsibility on the player i wonder if toby fox ever played off 
I'm wondering. Because I got to remind you guys, again, this is pre-Undertale. The smoke mines, they're harvesting that Zaza. <laughs> The, the spice mines, as in Dune. Worm. I want to make a YouTube video where it's like, uh, how do they get off the worm? And it's just a bunch of theories on how they actually get off the worm. Because how do they get off the worm? They put all of their luggage and stuff on the worm, and then they ride it into battle? How do they get off the worm? Because getting on the worm seems like, like a, such a task. Like, it could lead to death. So how do they even get their stuff on the worm more questions i was more of lisa the painful girl <gasps> oh dave that's gonna be my next game lisa the painful oh what a good game i haven't played it but i know of it and i'm so excited that game makes me so excited oh i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna include that in my rotation for real Lisa the Painful. I've always wanted to know what the story was about because the artwork was fantastic. Toby Fox was inspired by Earthbound. I'm truly, I truly am Captain Obvious. So I'm going to assume that Off was also inspired by Earthbound, which is maybe why they have such overlap, but the idea of the player being complicit in the stuff happening in the game, I feel like that's that's a very undertale type of storyline which is why i'm like did did he play off or was he like you know again i know he was inspired by uh, earthbound but i feel like maybe off might have been also like a sprinkle of, inf of inspiration it was the only game that had a boss fight that left us in tears oh i can't wait to feel the feels i love games like that from Google themselves, the connection between Off and the Mother series is completely coincidental. Oh. Oh, so, damn. I don't know, though. You know, uh, Suzanne Collins, the author of The Hunger Games? Uh, she, so, okay, let me start. If you guys have seen Battle Royale, it's a bunch of students that uh, all have to fight to the death until one is left and then that's the victor of the games and they all have a collar around their necks so if they don't fight like their heads explode so Suzanne Collins created the Hunger Games which again is a bunch of kids fighting in an arena and they have to fight to the death or there will be consequence like they will be killed right so it's either kill or be killed and the overlap of those like Suzanne Collins is like I never I never seen Battle Royale I never read the book and it's like okay Suzanne Okay, Suzanne, let's pretend that you didn't, but like, kind of weird that you guys have the same premise. Just saying. There's nothing wrong with being inspired. Ah, uh, I don't know them. They must be a member of the superior, superior personnel. In any case, that's good. That means our requests have been approved. Come, I'm going to explain your task. <sighs> Battle Royale is so good. Who'd win, the batter or Ness? I'm not sure, actually. That's a good question. I would make a poll if I could. Who would win, the batter or Ness? That's actually a really good Twitter poll as well. I want to know. Because the batter has such evil... Well... Huh. It's really questionable. The batter has very much evil energy, and Ness has, like, good boy energy. But he defeated Gygus, so... If anything, it would be like good boy energy beats evil energy. But the batter is pretty powerful. Um, you are here in the smoke mines of Damien in the south of zone number one. Here we send laborers into deep tunnels to unearth metal from the ground, freeing trapped smoke from the depths. Mortis Ghost is French, by the way. That's why it's like European. Using various tools, we put some of it into bottles, which the queen sends to the other zones. Hell yeah. <laughs> Ness with the gun. <laughs> this pole. 
the rest of it flows free and forms the air that our lungs inhale and exhale uh, so we can live. It's an essential element, the first among the four elements. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. Uh, there we are. And so, well, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impures? Uh, yes, there we go. There are many specters in the mines, and they are getting more and more aggressive. But, uh, in fact, it would be good if you wouldn't go there because the regulations forbid access to the smoke mines for visitors. So, uh, here's what we're gonna do. There's an annex tunnel that nobody ever goes to, but a miner went in there some time ago, and he saw something strange, he said. Nothing like the usual. So I thought, maybe that's the leader of the specters. Uh, so, there we are. If you accept, you'll go into the annex mine and kill the leader of the specters. Then the specter will disappear, and we can work properly again. There we go. There we, uh, do you have any questions? No. Ah, oh, great. Impeccable. The tunnel is right down there. Me, I will wait for you here. Uh, well, do you understand? You go down into the annex tunnel and kill the leader of the specters. This way, after you're done, we can work again. That would be great. Interesting. Hello? Soon, I might be promoted. I'd be able to do surveillance in Alma. I'm anxious for that to happen. Luck ticket. Thank you for the lurk, Robin. Woo. Battle Royale. Oh, uh, yeah. I keep reading that comment over and over. Yes, Pullmaker, I agree that Goku would win. Very baseball. <laughs> Is that who won? No. There's still time to vote, I think. Well, well, who do we have here? Is that not Snail and their charming jumping Jack the Batter? Might you be the Spectre's leader? Alas, no, no, certainly not. I'm only passing through, not unlike the smoke which is being ext extracted. What? Extracted is such a simple word. It's being extracted from this pale and metallic place. However, I believe I know where the, uh, the one you take for an ectoplasm can be found. Ain't no way Goku won. Ain't no way. To tell the truth, I am perplexed. Goku I think this. Always wins. <laughs> Goku would beat beat up the batter and Ness, though. Let's be real. To tell the truth, I am perplexed. I think it's one of those peculiar things called a spherical add-on. Um, I have a very well, I have very well tried to appropriate it, but the operation has systematically failed. But I'm thinking, maybe you, one who is not a physical matter, will perhaps succeed in binding the spiritual entity to yours. He would win. The SNES guy sounds really strong. <laughs> Ooh, add-on Alpha's joined you. What an exceptionally intriguing phenomenon. I must admit that I remain perplexed by this unexpected metaphysical reaction. Fair enough, since it has decided to accompany you, I know only to advise you to make the best possible use of it. Got it. The leader of the Spectres isn't here. Apologies, but I fear I have to respond in the negative. This add-on aside, I have not crossed paths with a single moving soul in this place. There's nothing here. This is the sort of spot that I am particularly fond of. What else, what you seek is certainly located elsewhere. Okay. I love the- look at his sprite. I freaking love the way he walks. Oh, that's right. Motors Ghost is French. That explains so much. Yeah. <laughs> he is French. Ah, you've returned. So, have you killed the, uh, the leader of the specters? No. It wasn't there. Oh. Oh? Really? I... Bugger. Bugger. <laughs> Bugger. Crap. I... Well, then, uh, I believe that I'll have to let you enter the main gorges then. But, um, the regulations are against it. Alright. Uh, I suppose that... I suppose this is a very special case, as stated in paragraph 5. So, uh, good. Well, the main mines are on the right. There. Alright. There are phantoms down there. They keep us from working properly. But this is my break time anyway. 
What are you doing here? Are you part of the mine inspection personnel? I'm here to kick ass. You've come to eliminate the specters? That's good news. The lamps don't always work in the endmost corridors, and since everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. The phantoms are in all the tunnels. Be careful, sir. And besides, who has let you enter here? Normally, the regulations prohibit external visitors. Show yourselves, corrupted children. I'm the voice of forgiveness that will eliminate your ill-fated forms. Yo. Prepare yourselves to receive my judgment. Jeez. I forgot how fun the music is in this. Interesting game mechanic. They only have 10 HP. Light resistant against smoke. Okay. Mortis Ghost got me twerking in the office. <laughs> yeah. I love the honks in this. So good. The honking. You're gonna love the soundtrack and Lisa. It's so good. Oh, I can't wait to play Lisa! <laughs> I wish there were like more games like Lisa. Sorry. All right. This add-on is fighting by my side. That's useful. Let's pur purify the other galleries. Health points and competence points uh, completely restored. Okay, let's save the game. What? Oh, I can go here. Again, if the game is too loud, let me know. <laughs> oh. Remember these sprites? They used to freak me out. Let me listen to the music. It was playing music before, now it's like ambient music. My favorite theme is the is the honking of the the spirits, the ghosts, not these with the other enemies. Oh, this might be the same soundtrack, right? I think it's just battle music in general. Hold on, I think I have like an equipped. I don't. Hold on. Oh. Oh, he's about to die. Hold on, hold on. Okay. 
What's the Joker? Oh, revive. Okay. Uh, cures all negative uh, status alterations. Okay. Okay. Dude, this music sucks. <laughs> We're, we're such haters. I feel like I'm back in the 2010s. <laughs> I'm saying I'm a hater too. And Victor, you're so real for that though. All right. Am I going the same place again? No, it's down here. I wanted to go down here. Wait, these tunnels connected, JK. Okay. <laughs> this battle music sounds like something you'd hear in the cartoon. <laughs> it always reminded me of Mardi Gras music for some reason. Not even battle at this point. I'm being productive. Okay. I thought this guy had something. Oh, should I go here? Oh. No, we don't want to be here yet. Okay. We've been there. It's like silly honking music, though. There's a door, but it seems to be locked from the inside. Okay, so we were meant to be there. Okay, so my little add-on alpha ring is like taking the brunt of the damage. I do really like the way the colors contrast with the characters. Same. I love the overall style and aesthetic of this, just because it's like... It's so uniquely Mortis Ghost. What? Did you come from the smoke mines? Yes. But... but it's full of specters in there. Yes. Are you a specter? No. Then who are you? Have you been sent by the queen? Or by Dedan? No. But... but... but you still know how to fight the specters? You... you could destroy them? Yes. Oh, that... that would be great. They're... There are, uh, specters in the large cow sheds. Cow sheds? Uh, uh, yes. I fucking love the sprite work for the batter, like, monster transformation thing. Same! Oh, what a great, like, artwork. I love the, like, boss battle too, or like the big giant guy by the end of the, the run. I forgot his name. He's like a boss or something. Battle music goes hard on me, not gonna lie. Um, you were here at the metal farmsteads of Pentel in the east zone in the east of zone one. Damn, Victor's like zero zero out of ten would never shop here again. Disgusting. The sprite work is top notch, yeah. Dude, the sprite work, so good. Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and um extracting the uh the. Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and extracting the metallic rocks contained within the cadavers. Nice. The battle music, some hidden talent, keep it hidden. 
All the metal of poor quality is discarded, forming the ground we walk on. The rest is purified and processed to create objects. Okay. A part of it also put into craters and sent to the other zones, so they have su subjects. I can't speak. A part of it is also put into crates and sent to other zones, so they have objects and soil as well, I suppose. <laughs> reading with Izzy it's a it's an essential element the first among the four elements <laughs> what's a mouth word sound <laughs> for real is that what is that is that French that's not French Italian no French le chiffre entre parentesis indique La categorile de metal. That feels like, um, Italian. French. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? Yeah, it's, it's, it feels like Italian. No, but Italian doesn't use le. Le miserable. <laughs> eh, okay. <laughs> bueno. Porque sin metal, uh, la gente no tuviera nada en que caminar sobre y ellos uh, estarían ahogándose. Ahí entonces hay specters en... I don't know how to say cow sheds in Spanish. Never had to use that word. Yo necesito purificar las minas primero. Ah, sí, pero... Los granjeros no son tan grandes y uh, sería bueno si tú te encargares más rápido porque la reina, la, 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 el inspector, oh my gosh, I'm so blanking here, porque el inspector de la reina va a llegar a cualquier momento. Entonces, por favor, si puedes empezar con los granjeros primero. Bien. Qué bueno. Gracias, gracias. Muchas gracias. Los granjeros están por allá, a la derecha. No son tan grandes como tú puedes ver. Uh, seguro que se van a terminar bien rápido. Girl, I struggled with that. Los granjeros están a la derecha. Gracias por tu ayuda. Antes de ir ahí, tengo que chequear aquí. Para ver. <coughs> Yo prefiero trabajar aquí sobre las minas. Uh, por lo menos puedes beneficiar de la, este, del aire de afuera. Uno no debería de estar este, tan cercano de los animales. Porque cuando, ni bien estás, ni bien lo estás, puede ser dificultoso para poner tus manos adentro. <laughs> Twas a minute. Just drank a full bottle of haterade. That's what I drink every single day in the morning. Just haterade. It's been more than a minute. Count that as a bonus. <clears throat> These balls are heaps of processed metal which are going to be sent to the other zones. They're uh, metallic. You're going to destroy the specters? Hurry up, we're expecting the queen's inspector at any moment. It's important to pay close attention to the nutrition of the animals if you want high quality metal. Let's save. These balls, that's all I know. I just need to check if there's anything else here. What? Oh shit! That was terrifying. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> that scared me. <sighs> You're going to destroy the specters? Hurry up. We're expecting the queen's inspector at any moment. <sighs> it's important to pay close attention to the nutrition. Oh, sorry. I read that already. Too spoopy. There are five specters left in the cow shed. Okay, let's kill them. 
I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I'm literally laughing at nothing right now. What the hell? The thing gave my add-on alpha a chronic migraine. Do we have Tylenol in our objects? In our inventory? Hold on, let me check. Wait. Okay, everyone's fine. Was I giving myself a migraine? What was that? Okay. I love that guy though. Probably one of my favorite sprites, the ghost sprite. He looks so friendly. kill the batter he's been taking a lot of hits which is weird because before the add-on was taking the hits but okay i mean we have luck tickets let's use the luck ticket on the batter gotta lurk for a bit to get some work done okay no problem dave thank you so much for the lurk good luck on your work Nice. Okay, now we have to defeat one more specter. Then we should be good to go. Uh, I'm not sure really where to go, though. I think I'll go down here. Did I come from here? I did come from here, right? I did. JK. Okay. Now, I have to go outside, apparently. The battle music is so good that it makes me want to tear my eyes out. <laughs> Keep it up, bro. <laughs> Oh. oh no, did I mess it up? I wasn't really aware that this was happening. Oh no, I'm fine. I don't know about you, Victor. I love music. Personally. It sounds like a disgusting, chaotic cacophony of music. <laughs> if only, if only. Okay, it's been purified. Yeah, let's, let's teleport back. Where's everyone? Oh, shit. Why there's a party of a party member named Alpha? That's the add-on. His name is Alpha, the little ring that follows me around. I I I I'm really quiet, you pitiful bastard. No, I yes. Has it been long since he I can't read. Has it been long since he went inside? I I don't know. No, of course you know nothing. I should have known. He he will eliminate the specters. And how does he think himself capable of destroying those stupid phantoms? He thinks himself better than you, better than the queen. No, no, I don't think that. Shut it, I didn't ask for your opinion. You, you all think you're more intelligent than the others, but you are all the same. 
In any case, this is hardly important. The phantoms will erase that conceited individual. I, uh, you, th you think he won't? Of course not. Nobody here is capable of fighting the phantoms apart from the queen's officers. If only you listened to me more often, you wouldn't keep making fools of yourselves. But, but then who, who's going to destroy the phantoms? I could have done it, but you don't deserve it. Too bad for you. You'll just have to take care of your problems yourselves. I, I, no, p please. I'm leaving now. I'm returning to Alma. At least the people there are polite. They don't constantly cut you off. P please don't. Goodbye. Get out of my sight. Don't. No, I... I beg of you, get the fuck out of my way right this instant if you want to keep your position. <laughs> Shut it. I didn't ask her your opinion. This queen is literally the physical embodiment of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't the queen. That was like some guy. Uh, not, not some guy, but the queen's right hand man. Bad music minus five points. Profanity minus two points. <laughs> Who was that person? You, you're alive? Yes. And and the specters? The cow shed has been purified. That you you must be very lucky. Who was that person? That that was Dedon. Okay, that was Dedon. He's a Queen's inspector. Okay, there we go. The Queen's inspector. You mean Spectre? No. The Queen wouldn't employ a Spectre. He can't be one. But he's evil. I must destroy him. N no, no, don't do that. He's an envoy of the queen. I, I, uh, you better go complete your work in the smoke mines. P please. In any case, he's an Alma. No one can go there without proper authorization. So please return to the smoke mines. All right. Did we even go here? Wait, there's another... Whoa. Oh. Save this game. I think this was the exit. Now I'm lost. Oh my gosh, I'm lost. in here. tickets so I'm getting my ass beat here all right let's do luck ticket I'm 
so lost. Jeez. Oh, At least I'm getting experience. I guess I need to find all these orbs anyways, so... What was it? Joker. Some people call me a space cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> Joker. I can't wait for the new Joker movie. I like I like the first Joker. I know a lot of people didn't like it because it was like <laughs> It's Joaquin Phoenix running around as a Joker, but it's like edgy. Also, they were like, this is too similar to like another movie. Well, let me check my HP. I'm I'm okay with the HP right now. Damn it! I already did this. The fact that I don't have an option to flee. Hold on. Yeah, I don't have an option to flee. Just have to attack. So good. Okay, before I run into anybody else. Is this just me finding all the orbs? I hope I found all of them. Nice. Finally out of there. Wait, what? Will you find the leader of the specters? Am I supposed, still supposed to be down there? Let me try going down here again. Okay, never mind. Oh, 
Oh shit. I don't even know where this guy is. I'm gonna. Am I gonna be lost for real, for real, during this whole playthrough? I'm also running out of luck tickets. It's not here. Is it here? Okay. Okay, dead end. I'm just gonna be happy. I'm just going to be in this place until I find the leader. Adversaries purified. Clearly it's not there. These adversaries are purified. Oh, yeah, let's flip the switch, right? Okay, I think that's where we're supposed to go. Past these blocks. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's Zachary! I remember when this guy... Okay, so just a bit of fandom lore. People would ship the batter with Zachary. It's just the lore. I'm pretty sure just because every ship fandom looks for it was that time where they would look for an excuse, like any excuse to ship these two. It's like the one slur phenomenon, right? Like they would ship him with himself just because there was nothing else to ship. That ship happened. So that's a bit of a lore. Also, a lot of people would draw Zachary, me included. I love drawing uh, Zachary. What a good character. The one slur. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the characters are... Dude, this music is like... My ears. Why is it particularly loud now? The characters are starting to pi pile up, aren't they? Pardon? What I'm saying is that the average player doesn't need all those complicated and tedious dialogues. There should be more action and fewer questions. Who are you? I'm Zachary, the traditional items merchant that's necessary to every video game. I'll often find myself in places going to visit before you. But enough talk. I'm not one of those protagonists you have to listen to for hours. So why not let me see the color of your credits? See, it's pretty straightforward. So... All right, how many credits do I have? I have a shit ton of credits. What we'll do is buy more luck tickets. Okay, let's not get carried away there. Okay, well, five and... I don't know what that is. Harold's bat, which we have. 
This is fine. Offensive equipment, I guess. Or of justice. And epidermis. I think that's all we kind of need right now. Can I sell something? Yeah, I'm not going to sell any of the orbs. Okay. Let's equip some stuff. Nice. Let me look at the orbs. Is that something you can use immediately? Probably, right? Increases the character's max, max HP by 50. Okay. Oh, I could just use them. I'll just use them all in the batter. Well... Let's give it to Alpha. Nah, the batter. Alpha. E Spirit. I feel like that's an Alpha thing. Oh, Agility. Definitely the batter. Oh, I'll just give it all to the batter. Whatever. We'll save the game here. What? How? Where did you come from? I come from the smoke mines. But how? What? But but that's impossible. Not a single lamp works in there. You you can't. Faith guides my steps. F faith? My mission is to purify the mines. But it didn't seem that fant- But it- <laughs> But it seemed that the phantoms are particularly numerous. The the specters. Where am I here? Where am I here? Um, uh. Hmm. Huh. You are here at the plastic administrations of Sachihata in the north zone of in the north of zone one. Our work consists of filing and forms. Afterwards, we package them and wrap them with string and send them to the courier service. There they ship the packages and in exchange we receive parcels full of plastic. There's a lot of liquid plastic that forms our lakes and oceans and then there's solid plastic used to make for uh, various objects. I love that Mortis Ghost uses these like, they're like archive of, uh, what are they called? Like they're dom domain free, free domain uh, vintage illustrations. It's an essential element, the first among the four elements. You could tell he was inspired by that artwork. Expansion? Yes. <laughs> because without plastic, the world would be limitless and people would be walking and walking without ever stopping. But but you hunt the specters, really? Yes, I'm purifying the zone. The the specters, I know where they come from. They all come from the postal service. The postal service? That's where we take care of sending the packaged forms. The problem is that uh, nobody can remember the floor where it's found. My office is in the basement because there's no more space on the story stories above, I suppose. All right, let's take the lift. Uh, let's go to the basement. Oh, we're already in the basement. Okay, let's go to the ground floor. Oh, jeez. This is what I this is what I imagine Dave working in. Dave works in a place like this. Whenever people in my chat are like, "I'm working," this is what I imagine. That's what they're doing the whole time.
I should probably go to the roof. Like, I don't want to leave this area. Yeah, let's go to the roof. I wonder if there's a safe spot there because I... I'm hungry. Let's go to... Let's go to the roof. Ooh. Look at our friend. By Jove, you again. You are decidedly everywhere. One could even believe you were following me. Yet your footsteps have not deceived you. For you are here in a place that could certainly use sacred blows from your holy bat. Perhaps you are al already aware of this, but it happens to be the floor... But it happens to be that the floor housing th this administration's postal service is haunted by ectoplasms. It would be most judicious to find the story where all the all these intangible monsters arise from post haste in order to slay them. But could it be that this task is too ar arduous for your narrow mind? In which case, I perhaps I might perhaps be able to provide you with advice. Okay. Hi, Dave. I was just going to say, hold on. Hold, hold your horses, Dave. Let me show you something. Uh, hold on. Let me read this part. Open widely your ears and listen well, and I will not say this twice, not even amidst the most pathetic pleas. In one of the four rooms on the ground floor, the employees inside seem to be trained under particular directives. Additionally, if there was a choice to be made, I would choose the lower case over the upper case. That is all. So, will the final verdict soon be reached? No, numerous employees are certainly in the need of your muscular wrist. Okay. Let's, let's go to the ground floor. Dave, this is, this is where I imagine you work at. Like, you work like this. Like, that's you. <laughs> that's Dave right there. I feel like you'd be facing a wall like that guy. Hi, Toxic. What's up? It's good to see you. How are you? Before you say anything, I know I haven't streamed in like a week. <laughs> Do not perceive me. That's you. Every time someone is like, I, I'm watching your stream at work, this is what this is what I imagine you guys look like. That's why I'm like, I'm not gonna say anything like not not safe for work. I don't know what the cat was talking about. I'm good. Do you have any plans for the rest of, or after, uh, for the rest of the day? I don't know if you're working right now. I was going to say after work. I'm just assuming everyone works. I don't understand what the cat was trying to tell me. He said something about, like, Somebody using uppercase instead of lowercase or lowercase instead of uppercase. It has to be one of these guys, though. I know it's a trigger. I posted a pic in general chat. Hold on, let me check. Work than D&D tonight. Nice. So as, as I was saying earlier, I feel like this this is what you guys look like when you're you're at work. Nobody here is using lowercase. So I don't understand what the cat was talking about. Weird. At least I don't have to wear a tie. Hold on, let me see what you posted. Best picture ever. I love that so much. <laughs> That's literally you. 
That is literally you. Toxic, wait, how's your D&D campaign? Is it very intricate? And how long have you been playing that campaign for? Again, I've never played D&D, I'm curious to, but I know that those campaigns can go for so long. <laughs> Dave, that picture is the best, to be honest. I love that. If I could get that tattooed on me, I would. <laughs> Just because the comparison from this to this is so funny. Hold on. You know what? I think I know... I know what to do. Nope. Never mind. Okay. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm probably missing something. Don't worry. I don't understand what the cat was trying to tell me. Why, what did Victor say? nights at Freddy's. <laughs> I could totally imagine Dave working in an office like Five Nights at Freddy's. Toxic, yeah, it's pretty intricate and we've been playing it since November. Whoa, that's so long. How long do your like campaigns go for normally? Because I know some people are like, well, this campaign can be short because it's your first time, but I know that they could go on for like years, to be honest. Five Nights at the Count. <laughs> you know what's weird about Gen Z um, or like cer certain people in Gen uh, specifically Gen Zers that were really obsessed with Five Nights at Freddy's they like find the animatronics attractive which is weird because in my head I'm like I know like as kids we used to watch like cartoons and stuff and then we used to see like Yu-Gi-Oh and we used to be like yeah I'd hit that I'd hit Yu-Gi-Oh right because it's just like it's so funny imagining because Yu-Gi-Oh has like such crazy hair but then I'm like okay so Gen Z would totally hit the animatronics from Five Nights at Freddy's and it's like what? I mean they're it's clearly their wires got tangled up in that but damn <laughs> toxic no idea this is my first one I, re I remember you saying that did your friends warn you like were they like would you like this campaign to be long or short or were they just like let's just start a campaign and see where it goes because whenever i try to mention that i want to play a dnd thing my friends are like it could be as short as you want or as long as you want it to be but for the sake of like you not getting like so so overwhelmed with it we could just make it a short one ready faster is unfuckable and cringe <laughs> so you mean you wouldn't date freddy faster if he just happens to appear in your office We just started it. Okay. It's been a few months. I exactly played one D&D campaign and we kept needing to take hiatuses. So are you like in an infinite hiatus with your D&D? With your campaign? I would physically beat Fazbear with an inch of his life. <laughs> you know that tweet where it's like, if me and my friend, all I know is that if me and my friend were to meet E.T. when we were younger we would beat him with hammers. I feel like that's you <laughs> with Freddy Fazer. <laughs> it feels like it. Damn. The Queen's General Office is here but his real house is in Alma. Okay. I don't know where to go. Pencil I guess? We haven't been there. We play once a week, so it's not bad. D&D is so cool, though. Just because I would want to make my character like as complicated as possible, but also as simple as possible. We started playing, took a three month break, started again, then had to take a six month break. Then we supposed to then we were supposed to start in March. And now I think we have to wait several months. Damn. And Sam was supposed to join us. Oh, wait, are you guys waiting for Sam or like it's just it's hard to coordinate um, everyone to a single night to play? Also, who's your character? 
They say that the names of the metro sta stations coincide with the names of important people from the past. I have trouble imagining that things weren't always the way they are now. Literally, Pentel. Once you've extracted everything from the carcass, you slice it up into pieces and eat the meat. Extracting the scraps of metal from cows isn't what I prefer, but I do my job well and maybe I'll be transferred to Alma. It's half of a cow. Weren't we just here? Yeah, we were just here. I need a safe spot. I'm I'm a half orc barbarian. <laughs> now one of the people was deployed somewhere. Oh gotcha. Aw. Wow, hold on. I don't want to be attacking here. Shit. I've never played D&D, so I figured I'd keep it simple. Is a half-orc barbarian simple? How complicated do these characters get? I'd want to be a bard. Wait, that's a class. Never mind. That's a class of a uh, character. You get mad and then you hit it. <laughs> yeah. Sam is a bard, really? Uh, I that's that's probably the best. I would want to be a bard. Superior character. Let me melt your your icy heart with this warm uh warm island song. All right, I'm so hungry and I started late and it's it's uh been two hours damn i'm in two campaigns right now one i'm a dragonborn wizard and the other i'm an elephant barbarian look at how crazy these characters can get that's so cool a dragonborn wizard elephant barbarian see like so to me bart bart is like like simple right but you could get as intricate as possible right i could be like a like, what if I wanted to be a fairy? Sam's a little frog. Okay, so I was right. Bard is a class. Like, warrior, bard, magic user. You see how, like, little I know of D&D? &D. But, like, okay, I'd be a bard. But, like, I could be anything in the world that I want. What if I wanted to be, you know, the creature from the never-ending story? Can I be that? If thou permit it in the campaign of D&D. &D. The hell did I come back to? <laughs> I forget what they're called. You can you can multi-class. Okay. If the DM allows it. Can the DM also have a character in the game? Hold on, let me bring up a picture of him. Let's do a window capture desktop. Yeah. Can it be him? Can I be him in my DMD D D campaign? I know our DM had to like figure out our stats so St Sam could play a frog because they weren't an official class. Oh, like a race. Gotcha. Yeah, it's not like an, uh, like a dwarf or like a orc or like an elf. <laughs> I like Sam the the concept of Sam being like, I want to be a frog, and then the DM's like, okay, let me figure this out. Yet it it would be simpler for Sam to be something like, again, like an elf or something. <laughs> our DM said we couldn't have a flying class in one of our campaigns. Oh, okay, gotcha. But okay, so what if I was like, can I be the creature of the never-ending story? However, like I'm not flying. I guess, again, that would be up to the DM to be like, we approve or like, we don't approve. 
Sam's little frog named Maholi. <laughs> He's very socially anxious. <laughs> what a precious creature for D and D. And he's a bard. Sounds like Molly. Okay. Molly. Oh, H is silent. I love that so much. Like, if if I were to pick a character in D&D, I would go the same exact way as Sam. It would be a little frog named Molly who's very socially anxious and was a bard. But also, I want to be the creature from the Never End Story. Never Ending Story. You know what I could do in a D&D campaign? I could be like, listen, like, listen, I, I want to be the creature from the, okay, no, I could be like, I, I'm going to be like a dragon, okay, a dragon that's like long and snake-like and has white fur and has, is like, has four legs and might look kind of wise and have like big dog ears. Whoa, hi Grayson. <laughs> I'm like literally about to end the stream too. Grayson, <laughs> how are you? I haven't seen you again in a week. I haven't seen all of you guys in like a week. So sad, so sad. My elephant barn is named Tubby. Tubby? Tubby? Like, like the streaming service Tubi or Tubby? Tubi? Barb. El elephant Barb. Right? Elephant Barb. I can speak. Oh, what the fuck did I just come back to? D&D &D talk. Yeah. Rip well, it's good to see you. Yeah, of course, Grayson. Wait, Grayson, if you had to make a character in D&D, &D, what character would it be? Back with the iPhone. It's a completely new world. What? You got a, an iPhone? I made the switch like a couple of years ago and it was so jarring, but I was like, how could, how was I not using an iPhone before? Although I still, I still have my heart out for an Android phone. Have y'all seen South Park Snow Day? I haven't. Is that the new, um, is that the new game? Cause I really want to play it. I love all South Park games. Then I have a magic javelin that if I say Chungus, it does lightning damage. That's the shit I want to do in D&D. &D. I want to be a socially anxious frog. I want to be a bard class. I want to say Chungus and have a, a magic javelin that does lightning damage. Like, that's the stuff that I want to do in D&D. &D. I just want to be a full on. But I want to do it in the body of, of this creature from the never ending story. I know he has a name. It's Falcor, isn't it? Is it Falcor? Anyways, that's that's who I want to be. But I would say it in a roundabout way. I'd be like, he's a dragon. I want to be a dragon. And then I'd describe Falcor. And they'd be like, wait a minute, are you saying Falcor? And I'd be like, yeah, he looks exactly like Falcor. But however, he's another... He, I'd, I'd try to like work around it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a multiplayer survival game. I really want to play it. Is it out already? South Park Snow Day. I love Android because I can emulate pretty much anything I want on it. Uh, there's like this application where you could watch YouTube videos without it having to play ads. It was like basically ad blocker on your Android. And I miss that so much about using an Android. Like iPhone doesn't let you have that stuff. There's like the customization frustrated me the most about the iPhone. Because I could customize, like, my back, my phone background and stuff. But it's, like, it was it was frustrating. Because I was, like, why can't I do certain things on this phone? But I like it. Be the best Falcor you could be, new pipe. <laughs> All right. Well, let me see if I can, uh, is it a raid kind of day, you guys? like the spray raid hold on let's see if i can pro tip if you use firefox on iphone it has their ad blocker built in blocks youtube ads and everything but isn't it like kind of a pain to use a uh, youtube on a browser i like to use it on um i like to use the app just because it's like i could do picture in picture but that's good to know if i want to like sometimes i don't want to watch something you know uh it either 
it either be literally just Ness or some healing dude. Bun's playing uh, Dragon's Dogma. We'll we'll raid Bun. Why not? Why not? I use the app, but the ads drive me insane. <laughs> I miss when YouTube wasn't shit. Me too. Freaking YouTube. Like. Anyways, dude, wait, just a proposition, you guys, if you guys would, were ever to be interested in to start a D&D campaign, but online, I don't know if we could we do that. We are coming and we are coming in waves. Thanks for the stream. Next time, I'll hopefully be able to hang out longer. Yeah, dude, Grace, and I miss you. Toxic. I use Opera as my browser on my iPhone. Use Opera? Toxic. How is that possible? Every time I open Opera. Oh, wait, Opera. Sorry. I was confusing it for Safari. I was like, because I was like, whoever uses Safari is like kind of insane, in my opinion. Opera is fine on the phone, on the iPhone. I use, what do I use? I use Brave. I use Brave. Roll 20. That's what me and my buddies use. Pathfinder Online or Roll 20. Would you guys be interested in a D&D campaign? I cuz I want to play D&D. But the dungeon master would have to be super knowledgeable. Sure a little. <laughs> but super low maintenance. Like it doesn't have to be a big thing. I just want to get I just want to get in the world of D&D. Just need a DM. Yeah. Okay. Does a DM have to know, like, everything about, like, they have to be super knowledgeable, right? I can't be the DM, right? Because I'm, like, too new at it. It has to be, like, a very knowledgeable DM. By the way, I'll be uploading this on uh, my new VODs channel. I, I, like, mangled my old YouTube channel and made it VODs. So, again, just to advertise this... I'm uploading VODs that are edited, so all of the weird pauses and, like, BRBs and whatever, all of that's edited out. Unfortunately, obviously, I can't play copyrighted music, so it's replaced with copyright-free music, but just letting you know that's there. I'm going to be I'm gonna be editing today's video, I guess, and uploading it. DM has to prep everything. There's, like, pre-made stories you can follow. Okay. Pre-made stories? DM has to prep everything. Jeez. Maybe I... Well, yeah. Pre-made stories. I guess it would be more of a task to take on, like, a non-pre-made story. Okay, okay. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Let me go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> let's raid Bun, who's uh, streaming uh, Dragon's Dogma 2. But sure, I'd be down for a D and D thingy. Noise, noise. Uh, yeah. I was gonna be like, does anybody want my Discord server link, which I kind of share with Bun? But it's like a, it's not even. I usually don't provide the link until someone asks for it because what I tend to see when like discord links are open to the public, people join and then it just becomes dead immediately. And I kind of like it when it's like kind of private because it's like, okay, you guys funk with me, right? I don't know. That's in my head. Anyways, <laughs> besides the point with the pre-mates, you still, uh, to, you still have to do some prep. Yeah. I can imagine it's like a whole process to prep. Small discords are the best. They are. I like small discords. Even if it grows to something bigger, at least it won't die in my head. Because I'm like, it's because you're opening up to everybody. Because everybody has the impulse to join a discord. But very few people that are like really into it, they're like, they'll ask you for it. They'll be like, hey, do you have a discord? Then it's like, yeah, here's the link. A wink, wink. And that's when I provide the link. Yeah, small discords are awesome. Heck, I have a tiny, tiny discord. Eight people. The more people, the more personalities can clash, to be honest. Yeah, or like I said, for me, it, it just dies. 
it either personalities clash or it just dies. All right, we're gonna we're gonna raid a bun. Sorry for the long talk at the end, you guys. I like talking. If I could just be a just chatting streamer, I would. But we're not there yet. You guys aren't there yet. <laughs> yeah, ADHD core. All right, we're we're raiding bun. Hope you guys have a great day. Say hi to Bun, because we're rating them. Have a great Wednesday, you guys. I'll see you on Friday. Uh, I think I'll be playing nostalgic games, like, you know, like Arthur games, like ABC, one, two, three games. Hey, no problem, Dave. Oh, again, here's my socials. I will be uploading this VOD. Probably editing this part out. <laughs> so